This video will help you get started with Add Spyglass. All you need to do is follow this four-step configuration. At the first step, you'd need to link the ad networks you'd like to work with. All webmasters try to work with a range of ad networks. Many of them already have accounts. Our system allows you to combine all of the advantages of each ad network that you link. Thus, the ad networks will compete with each other for your traffic, so your income might double. This page shows the list of ad networks Ad Spyglass works with. Use filters to see current CPM by country and ad format. At the beginning, add those ad networks that you've been already working with. If you do not have an account of the ad network you are interested in, click on the blue button, Get Account, and you will be redirected to the website of this ad network. For each ad network, we have prepared configuration manuals. To get familiar with them, click the Read button in the Manual column. As an example, we will link such ad networks as Adstera, ExoClick, and Hilltop Ads. Click on the green Link button placed next to the Adstera advertising network. In the Login field, enter the credentials you've been previously using to access the ad network. In the API Key field, paste the API token taken from your personal account of Ad Network's Webmaster Panel. Then, click the Save button. Ad networks don't buy 100% of your traffic. That's why you need to set up back URLs to avoid wasting any unsold traffic that is being returned from the ad networks. Copy your universal back URL from the section Ad Networks and send it to your support manager in Adstera. Let me continue with Ad Networks linking. In the list of Ad Networks, find ExoClick and click Link. Enter your login in the login field and copy the API token which can be found in the API section in the Webmasters panel of ExoClick. Click the Save button. Insert our back URL for your creatives to the field Return URL in ExoClick.com Webmasters panel. Also as an example, let's link the Hilltop Ads advertising network. Enter your login in the login field and copy the API key which can be found in My Profile section under the API tab of the HilltopAds.com Webmasters panel. Click the Save button. Your back URL was created automatically. If you have any questions related to the first step, you can always contact our support staff or use the Help section on our website. Follow the wizard at the top of the page when configuring the account. This helps you understand what step is required to be completed. To get to the second step of configuration, click on the link Create Website in the wizard or select Websites in a menu. Then, click the Add Websites button. Choose your website's stream. Enter your website's list, one per line. Choose spots for your website. For example, I have two banners near Video NTV1, NTV2, and Pop Under. Campaigns will be automatically created for each type of the selected spots. Then, click the Add button. Here you are. Sites, spots, and campaigns are added to the system. To get to the third step, you need to click on the link Go to Mass Import in the wizard or select Campaigns in the menu. Then click on the button Import Creatives from Ad Networks. Before you start adding creatives, make sure that they have been already added in the Ad Network interface. They may be called Ad Zones or Ad Spaces, depends on how specific Ad Network names it. I go to Adstera Webmasters panel and select Get Code in the menu. I have Ad Units here, but if you don't have any, click on Add New Code, select Website in the drop-down menu, Add Units, and click on the Get Code. So now, your Ad Units are created. After that, I go to ExoClick's Webmasters panel and select Sites and Zones. Here I have Zones, but if you don't, click on the button New Ad Zone. Choose Ad Format. Click Next. Choose Websites in the drop-down menu. And enter Ad Zone Name. Add Specifications, Border, Format, Category, and Subcategory. Then click on the Save and Preview button. Your zone is created. 
go to Hilltop Ads Webmasters panel and select Manage Sites and Zones in the menu. Here I have created zones. If you don't have, you should contact your personal manager in Hilltop Ads and ask them to create a special zone for Ad Spyglass service for you. Watch how I import pop-unders from Ad Networks. Go back to Ad Spyglass Webmasters panel, drag and drop zones to corresponding campaigns. Then, click the Create All button. If you don't see Required Zone, click on Refresh icon. All zones for the linked ad networks should be displayed automatically. If your zone doesn't appear after that, make sure it was added to the ad networks panel and verified. If it doesn't solve a problem, contact our support team. At the fourth step, you need to place spots codes on your website. Go to the website section and click the button Get Codes. Select the spots you want to add. Below you can see Add Spyglass Codes. Copy and paste it to your website's template. Pop under code should be inserted inside body forward slash body tag. Make sure that you have removed old pop under codes from your website. Codes from Ad Networks will conflict with Ad Spyglass codes. After codes get alive, check current activity on your dashboards. If everything was done correctly, you will see current activity on your dashboards section. Detailed reports will be available the next day. Congratulations, you finished Ad Spyglass setup. If you have any questions, please contact our support team or use the help section. Follow the wizard at the top of the page and you won't get lost.